Hey everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to another Jelly Bean Suit video. Today I'm going to create a layout using paper punches and I'm gonna create a fun and colorful layout. I pulled out a, some of my punches from my stash. I have a drawer on one of my desks that's just full of different paper punches. And this is one tool that I think a lot of us have that we don't pull out often enough. So. I want to share how to create a really easy d design and it's got a lot of color, a lot of dimension and a lot of fun. So I have some different size circles. I have some scallops and then a heart and a star punch. And I'm just pulling some papers from the six by eight Jelly Bean Soup paper pads, the plaids and the dots. And I've picked I believe five different colors and I'm just going to punch a different shapes from some of the different patterns in these six by eight paper pads. There are so many things you can do with just even just a circle punch. If a circle punch is all that you have, there are so many different designs you can do and so much fun things you can create with just the circle punch. Um, some ideas would be um, creating banners, um, taking the circle, folding it in half cutting a bunch out of different pattern papers and running it through a sewing machine. Even if you didn't do the stitching, you could still create the banner um, by lining them up on your page. It's just a great, great tool, the circle punch. You could also fold up the four sides of your circle, pun your punch circle, um, creating lots of dimension. Um, and I do wanna try this because I've seen other people do it, where you fold up the circle, the four sides, and you use a whole bunch of different pattern papers and you kind of arrange some type of a style or design on your layout using the pieces that you punched. Um, so that'll be really fun to try as well. For this one, I just punched, like I said, a bunch of different shapes out of different colors using these paper pads. And I'm gonna um, kind of just lay them out. I'm gonna do a row of the pink and then the orange, the yellow, the green, and the blue going up and down on the layout. I'm gonna start with the pink here. I've got all of my pieces punched out and I'm just gonna kind of place them on the page where I want them to go. And then once I get everything kind of placed down on my white cardstock, I'm going to take some wet adhesive and get them stuck down. Now I do go back and add in some pieces to kind of layer up. So there's like a smaller scallop so I'll add the, I think that's like a one and a half inch scallop. Remember me, yeah, one and a half inch. And then I have a one inch circle that I'll layer on top and I'll pop that up with some foam adhesive just to give some more dimension to the layout. And then on some of the one inch circles, I'll place the scallop and then the half inch circle and then um, I'll add some embellishments um, on top of that just for even more height and dimension to the layout. So here I'm going with the green and then I'm gonna go in with the teals and then I'll go through and get these adhered all down to the page. The photos that I'm going to be documenting on this page are photos of our uh, Red Nose Pitbull, Lola, Lola Bean. And um, she just turned four years old and I can't believe we've had her for four years. It's crazy, it's gone by really, really fast. Um, she is just, a uh, bundle of snuggles and love and she's just a happy girl she's she loves everybody she loves to sleep she loves the kids she loves to eat she's just a really really good girl so I just wanted to make a page just about her and um her fourth birthday she actually my um, oldest son brought her home when he was in high school he brought her home and he said he had got his girlfriend a puppy and I was like no honey you just got your mom a puppy because you're not gonna take care of it and we honestly were not gonna keep her um, he brought her home the day the night before I was leaving to CHA and um, when I got home when I was talking to my husband while I was gone he's like when you get home we have to find a new home for this puppy we are not keeping it because we had already had a dog we already had a dog we have Izzy the boxer so I'm like, okay, well, when I get home, you know, we'll figure something out. We'll get her a new home because we were not in any place to have, we didn't want two dogs. Um, but when I got home um, and I started working with her and training her and cuddling with her, I was like, there's no way 
I can get rid of this dog. There's no way at all. So she's here. We kept her four years later. And honestly, she's like the best thing ever. So um, I just want to make a page about her and her fourth birthday. And um, she's a colorful girl. She's got a crazy spirit. And I thought this page would be great for documenting her photos. So I'm getting everything stuck down to the page. I'm just using this Nuvo um, Deluxe Adhesive. It works really, really good. Gives you a little time to kind of wiggle things around before it really dries and sets up. So I'm just using this to get everything stuck down. Um, I did go ahead and pull out a bigger scallop punch because um, I originally was just going to use like some three by four photos. Um, but then I decided that I would go ahead and uh, make the photos circle as well. So I pulled out a bigger um, scallop punch and um, placed three of those, three or four of those down. And then I'm going to get my photos um, and then punch them out with the circle punch. And I print my photos at home and I use glossy. Um, oh, well, sometimes I use matte, but this time I did use a glossy photo paper and the one inch punch punched them out perfectly. I didn't have any troubles at all getting those um, punched out with my punch. And I have an older punch. I think it's like a Hobby Lobby um, 9.99 punch and it worked great so I'm just working on getting um, everything stuck down and then there are some of these that I will add foam adhesive to and then kind of layer them up so I'll use um, the small scallop and then I'll put a circle punch on top and then um, the bigger one inch circles I kind of layer with the smaller scallop and then another smaller circle on top and then I'll go through once I have everything down I will go and start to add some epoxy shapes and some stickers. I pulled out all of my epoxy shapes from Garden Harvest, Spoonful of Soul, You Make Me So Happy, and the Rainbow Rue collections. I pulled all of my stickers, all of my die cuts, the alpha stickers. I wasn't quite sure what I was going to use, um, but I just pulled everything out. And then um, I will start to embellish and pull co different colors from the different collections. So here I am punching out the photos um, and I just use, like I said, I used my circle punch and it punched out just fine. And um, I, start, I started out with just doing three photos and then I go back and add a fourth. So I'll pull up this aqua um, circle and replace it with a teal scalloped teal scallop in just a little bit and then I'll add a photo to it. So this one right here, I'm gonna pull that up and then punch out a large scallop. I guess I could have just stuck it right on top of the circle, but I end up pulling it up and I do rip some of the white cardstock on the bottom, but it's gonna get covered up so it's not a big deal. So I'm gonna get that um, adhered down to the white cardstock and then punch out another photo of Lola and then get that added to the page. I do pop up the photos on some foam uh, foam tape just for some added dimension to the page. So I'll get all of those adhered to my page and I really, really love how that looks. I love all of the color, I love all of the shapes and really this layout didn't take very long at all. Um, and I just, I just love the look of everything, the color, the circles, um, the photos. I love that they're in a circle shape as well. Really, really fun. So I'm getting these stuck down and then I'm going to start to embellish with um, all of the products that I pulled. I'm going to take some different colored epoxy shapes and add them to the center of the circles. And then I have some like um, die cut words. I'll add those as well. So I use the circle shapes, I use the hearts, kind of just have fun um, max, mixing the different embellishments and matching them up with the colors um, on my layout. So these are really, really fun embellishments. I also add these um, epoxy shapes straight to the page as well. So I do layer some of them on the the papers that I have punched, but then I also add them just straight to the page as well, just for a little bit more fun and color to the page. So I'll go through and add all of the poxies, and then I pull out some stickers from the 6x12 cardstock sticker sheets. Um, I pull out all of the collections, 
um, just to find different pieces to add that would go with my layout. And then I also pull out die cuts from um, the Peapod parts. I pull out all of my collections and I just dump them out on a paper plate and I kind of sift through them and find different pieces that will match my page. I will make sure that I leave everything um, linked in my blog post. The blog post should be linked down below so you guys can check that out and see everything that I use to the page. Make sure you head on over to the Jelly Bean Soup blog um, so that you can see the post and see all of the close-up photos and then all of the links to products used on this page as well. So I'm just getting all of my embellishments down popping some things up on foam. And then to finish off the layout, I add my journaling um, using my We Are Memory Keepers typewriter. And then I um, pull out a piece of Rainbow Rue pattern paper. It's the black with the white plus signs. And I just cut tiny strips of that black, black to add to the top and the bottom of my layout. Um, I just wanted another punch of black since my photos were black and white. I felt like I needed another punch of black, so I added um, strips of the black pattern paper to the top and the bottom of the page. That's just something that I, I like to do on my layouts. I almost left it all just white, but I'm like, no, I need to add a pop of black. So it's really easy to do. I just cut it with my paper trimmer and then adhered it down with some wet glue. So right there is my paper plate um, with my rainbow roux. Um, I just find it's easier to do the paper plate and it's not fancy or anything, but I keep them in my office and um, I dump out, because some of these embellishment packs have so many embellishments, um, the paper plate just lets me kind of spread it out on the thing and I don't lose them on my desk. So I'm just going through, kind of just figuring out some different pieces to layer up and get stuck to the page. I hope this layout inspires you to pull out your punches, create something fun. Um, if you haven't used your punches in a while, now is the time to get those punches dusted off and used on your next project. You could also do a layout like this if you're not a scrapbooker. You could also do this for your card. Just kind of scale it down, use smaller punches, and create the same kind of look but just on a smaller scale. Um, I think this would be really, really fun um, on a card front as well. I love these little word um, strips here. I found some that matched perfectly with the layout and the words on them um, go great as well. I did pull out this alpha and I'm just gonna put down here on this pink circle, I'm just gonna put Lola. And I was thinking Lola Bean, cause that's her, her first name is Lola and her middle name is Bean and we call her Beans. She responds to all of them, Lola Bean, Lola or Beans, and um, but the bean didn't fit, so I just put Lola. So I got some more of these epoxies. I'm gonna get these stuck down. And these epoxy shapes, you get two stickers in the pack and they last forever. These are one of my favorite embellishments and I've created so many Jelly Bean Soup projects and I add these epoxy shapes to just about every single layout that I do. And I still have so many of these um, shapes left. They like last forever and ever. Getting that some of these epoxy pieces stuck down directly to my layout. Just trying to fill in some of the spots on the page. And then I do go through and add some of the little tiny stars and hearts um, on some of the spots that I felt were kind of bare. I will add a couple more of the, the smaller punches on the layout. So the last thing I do is add these strips of black to the layout. And then I do go and add some of these word stickers. I'm just kind of showing you. I didn't 
somehow I messed up the filming and I didn't get that filmed where I was picking out my stickers. So I'm just showing you the different stickers and then showing you where I'll place my journaling. And you'll see that in the still shots coming up um, here at the end. Oh, here's my journaling. My I ran that through the typewriter and then I'm gonna get those strips cut up and I will add those with my wet glue to the yellow circle right there. And I just add the month and the year, and then um, I keep it pretty simple. There's not a whole lot of space for journaling, so I kept it pretty simple, which I normally do on my layouts anyway. So I just get these cut down. I was having trouble with my paper trimmer. I think I need a new blade. Um, so I'm just gonna trim them down with my scissors and then get it stuck down to the layout. And that pretty much finishes it up. I thought about going in and adding some um, splatters, but then I didn't, I should have done that first, but I really, really like the way it came out without the splatters anyway. Um, it's nice, crisp, and clean, and I really, really, really enjoy the look that I have going on right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you will pull out your punches and give this a shot, either the design, scrap lift my design how I have it, or come up with your own. I think it would be really fun to do all kinds of things with these circle punches. And I hope to see um, you guys sharing your projects and tagging um, Jelly Bean Soup with our products and um, your circle punches. So thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out the blog post that coordinates with this video. Um, like I said, the links to all the products are in the blog post. And I will catch you guys the next time I share a video. Make sure that you like and subscribe to the Jilly Bean Soup YouTube and make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know the next time a new video goes up. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.